Okay, so first draw GUI event. So what I've got here is I've got just this boring black player sprite. And I've got a background that's like some grass. And I've got this object. And in the create event for the player object, it says it sets a variable of HP equal to 50. And then in the step event, it just runs the script, which is not a fancy script in the least. All it is is a quick little movement script so I can move the the player around on the screen. And I really wish the chat would work. It doesn't look like it's working for me, which is annoying. Anyways, now I've got this room which has this nice giant, it's a pretty big room, but I'm going to make it a little bigger. And we're going to set up a view. So if you've never done that before, this will be beneficial to you as well. But I'm going to make the room uh, 2,000 by 2,000. It's not a very specific number. but uh, And then we're going to make the view. The view in the room is going to be 1024 by 768. And the port on the screen is also going to be 1024 by 768. Now, I'm at a... I'm at like a 2K resolution or something. I don't know. So if you guys are at a lower resolution, you can change these numbers to 640 by uh, by 360. And that's a pretty good number too that you can do. So, but I'm going to leave it like that. And then we're going to have the view follow the player and make sure to click enable the use of views and visible when room starts. When you do that, you'll actually see a line drawn that shows the view. So I'm going to press uh, the green check mark here and actually run the game with this new view. And you can see I can move around in the view and if I come down to the bottom of the screen the view is going to move with me which <laughs> I, I, I didn't do a... well let me minimize this real quick. I didn't do a very good offset. So come back into views. Ah, there's the chat. Hey everyone. It's good to see you there. I was missing that. Um, so let's do a uh, horizontal border. Five, uh, let's see. Yeah, 512, which is half of our, um, half of the view width. And then vertical border is, oh crap, I have to divide that by two. I really don't want to try and do that in my head. Um, let's see. 384, I think, maybe. I don't know. If I'm off, then you guys can laugh at me. But <laughs> Okay, let's run this again. And the view should follow my player a little better now. Yeah, looks like I was pretty close with my guess on the width. So now you've got your game, right, and uh, you've got this view that moves your character around in the room, but you want to draw the health for your character, and you want to have it on the screen where people can see it. So let's, uh, this is where you'll learn how to use the draw GUI event. So let's first um, make a mistake and use the draw event. And we're going to draw the health. So draw the health. And some of you might have done this before. Draw text. We're going to just do 32, 32, and then string HP. Okay? And that's going to draw the health up at the top right hand corner of our screen. Uh, generally, I do custom cameras. Yeah, I don't use the built-in view camera to answer your question. I, They're not bad, but... Oh, it looks like it, it's not... I forgot. It's not drawing our player. So we're going to want to do draw self as well. But yeah, I would recommend using... I would recommend doing your own cameras um, as you get more advanced. These cameras work great when you're just starting off. So there's nothing wrong with them at all. Uh, they're just a little bit static feeling when the player's... Doing it. And if you want the game to feel a little bit better, then um, I would I would kind of do your own custom camera. 
So you can see we've got our health there up at the top left hand corner. But when we move down off the screen, the health moves because it's just drawing it in the in the room and not actually on the view. So let's take this draw event and let's grab the draw the health section here out of this code. Control C and then I'm just going to delete that there and we're going to change. Well, I could have just changed this event. That was a little redundant, but we're going to change this event to draw GUI. Now, what the draw GUI event does is it draws relative to the view. So it's going to, the health now is going to move with the view. So let's try that. Now that we've switched it to a draw GUI, and I don't think we need to add draw self into the draw event. Yeah, we don't. Now it's drawing the health up there just like it was before, but when we move the camera, you can see that that health moves with us and I honestly really need to use a bigger font um, oops that was a script let's do font here we go and we'll do a size of 48 maybe whoa that's huge 32 that looks good okay and then draw set font font one. Uh, I forgot my T. Okay. So you can see now that uh, it's that's way better. <laughs> it's drawing the health up there at the top and it moves with the view. So you can literally draw anything in the draw GUI event and it will move with the view. You can draw sprites in the draw GUI event. You can do any draw anything and it will move with the view. Um, there is something important you need to know about drawing sprites though and about the draw GUI event because sometimes what you're going to do is you're going to scale your game up and a lot of the time with games uh, like Grain War and stuff where you've got more pixel art type characters you like the game to be scaled up so what you'll do is you'll come into your view well first let me let me draw a sprite though Let's say you have um, some cool looking health bar. And I don't really want to create one. But let's do a height of 16 and a width of 64. And it, this is not going to be a cool looking health bar, just, just to give you a heads up. But we've got this health bar that is just so awesome. and um, is really going to impress all of the people playing your game. Got this really cool looking health bar. Let's do black here. And fill it up a little more. Okay, super awesome health bar, right? And you're drawing this health bar in the draw GUI event. So you can just do here, draw sprite, sprite health bar, and we're drawing it at a sub image of zero, and the X position will be 32, and the Y position will be 64, so it's under the number. Um, now let's go back into our room. Yeah, best health bar you've ever seen. Oh, that I should probably draw it further down. It's not far enough down. So let's do, instead of 64, 128. That, sh that better be far enough down. So uh, now our health bar is drawing to the view. When we move the character, the health bar moves as well. But it looks really tiny on the screen. And our character looks kind of tiny on the screen as well. Most games are actually, uh, the, the view's big, but they've scaled up the actual view inside. So let's go into our view. And what we're going to do is the view in the room is going to be smaller. And we're actually going to, we're going to change some things. We're going to do 640 by 360 will be the view in the room. So you can see, let me take off the grid there. You can see that's a lot smaller. And then the port on the screen, I'm just going to double these numbers here. So we're going to do um, 1280. 
1280 and I'm going to do 720, right? 360, yeah, 720. So um, we're going to want to change these to the horizontal border and stuff are going to be 36. Well, let's see. No, not 360. Um, oh, 320 and 180, which is half of our view in the room. Sweet. So now when we run the game, you're going to notice that the character is scaled way up, right? Which is awesome. This is what we wanted. It's, it's a pixel art game. And actually, we're going to want to uh, come into the global game settings, go into Windows, Graphics, and uncheck Interpolate Colors Between Pixels. Um, but then it, our pixel art, you can kind of start to see the pixel art now in this game. But you'll notice that the health bar is still tiny. Well, that's because what happens is the draw GUI event, its default is to just draw at the resolution of our actual screen. So even though um, we the view in the room is actually smaller and we're scaling it up to the port, the draw GUI event is just going to draw at the same size of the port. So this is the secret to the draw GUI event that fixes that. You're going to come into the player's create event in this example and you're going to do display set GUI size and we're going to do I'm pretty sure 640 by 360. Now what it's going to do is it's going to set the GUI size to the same size as our view and then it's going to stretch the GUI across the view um, display port. So when we come back into our game, and hopefully I remember how to do this, yes, you can see that both the text and the, the health bar are scaled properly now to match the same um, resolution that the view is showing. And that's the secret to the draw GUI, GUI event is, um, let me delete this, is the draw set GUI size so that and you want this to be the same size as your view as the view size and the view size is 640 by 360 the port on the screen is actually how many pixels it takes up on your screen um, the view in the room is how many pixels it takes up in your game I guess that's a good way of explaining it so um, that's basically all I'm gonna talk about uh, with views and with the draw GUI event and I'm going to throw this on YouTube so you guys can check it out.